How do you feel about being alone? For some, it might be sheer horror. For others, you might be like, yes, please. Regardless how you feel about being alone, we all need to learn how to be alone, and not just by ourselves, but with God. That's solitude. I define solitude as alone time with God. The reason we need to practice solitude is because it decreases the voices around us, whether it's our own internal voice, the voice of others, or the voice of the world around us. It helps to silence those voices, while at the same time increasing the voice of God. And we all need to grow in our ability to hear and understand, to recognize the voice of God in our life. Listen, you need to understand when you talk about solitude, it's not about length of time. Spend as much or as little time as you want in solitude. It's not about being silent, although silence helps with solitude. You don't have to be silent. And it's not about being still. Feel free to get up and move around in your practice of solitude. But I'll tell you what solitude is. It's about you spending alone time with God, not with others, not with all your devices, not with all your things. You want to try to limit your distractions so you can just be alone with God, the one who loves you, who knows you completely, who loves you fully, and wants to just spend time with you. You know, some ideas for the practice of solitude could be reading scripture. You know, find a passage of scripture that stands out to you and just spend time slowly and carefully reading through that passage of scripture. Maybe go for a walk. Go for a walk with God. Go for a walk around your neighborhood, around your place of work, and just pray and talk with God about those things. Maybe go to a place you love to frequent, like a park or the mountains or the beach or something like that, and just be with God out in nature. Fasting is a great way to practice solitude. The time you would spend eating or doing that thing you're giving up, spend it with God and just be alone with God and talk to him about your needs and those the way those things fill a need in you. Be creative. Anything you want to do in the practice of solitude, do it. As long as you're spending alone time with God and you're just making space to be with him. So let's do this. Let's practice a little solitude right now. I thought we would read through a passage of Scripture together. This is Jesus talking to his disciples from Matthew 11. So right now, just get into a comfortable position. Maybe you want to like put your feet on the floor and just relax. Let's take a deep breath together. And now I'm going to read through the passage of Scripture. And I want you just to listen as I read this passage of scripture over you. And just imagine as if Jesus is with you and he's actually speaking this to you. And see if you could pay attention to what sort of stirs in you or what stands out to you as I read through this. He says, are you tired, worn out, burned out on religion? Come to me, get away with me and you'll recover your life. I'll show you how to take a real rest. Walk with me. Work with me. Watch how I do it. Learn the unforced rhythms of grace. I won't lay anything heavy or ill-fitting on you. Keep company with me, and you'll learn to live freely and lightly. What's God saying to you as you hear this? What's he stirring from within you? And then how do you respond to him in this? For me, I think about that invitation to learn how to do life with Jesus, whether I'm working or moving, or resting, to pay attention to him, sort of bust out of my some of my habits, my religious ways, if you will, of doing things, and just be with him. Listen, as you learn to incorporate solitude into your life, let me pray this blessing over you. May your alone time with God be rich, with moments of deep connection and meaningful conversation with the Lord that you would learn to know yourself more intimately as you know God more fully, strengthening your ability to discern between your voice, the voice of others, and God's voice in your life. And so walk more fully in your God-given design and call to follow Christ and become more and more like him.